Welcome to the prototype build of the pizza heater computer. What the hell is a pizza heater computer? Well, I'm gonna be building a cardboard prototype of it. So I've got this test bench here, as you guys can see. I'm going to build a computer onto this in actually this configuration. There will be cardboard surrounding this on all sides and on the bottom, which will be duct taped together so that hopefully no heat can really escape that way. And then where did it go? This guy right here, case side panel, will go on the top. I'm going to chop it up a little bit, maybe get some holes in there and stuff so that it can vent heat out. And then the idea is you put a slice of pizza on here and your computer keeps your pizza warm. Yeah! This is probably the most intelligent video I've ever made on Linus Tech Tips. I don't see anything wrong with this computer or anything wrong with this idea, so come along with me and let us build our pizza heater prototype. Corsair claims unrivaled comfort and universal compatibility on its new Void Surround headset, featuring genuine Dolby 7.1 headphone USB adapter. Click the link in the video description to learn more. First things first, I have to build the computer, which is going to be a little bit interesting because I'm going to use this test bench here, but the test bench doesn't really hold it in. Like, there's no way to actually screw the board in. So I'm probably going to duct tape this part of this shroud thing here to the actual bench itself. I've got a 6700K in here. I'm just gonna cool it with a stock cooler. So next up, we've got the graphics card. These are two 980 Ti's. They should have a pretty good amount of thermal output. I'm gonna throw on an SLI bridge here. Boom, good to go. So for now, everything's actually gonna be rather standard, except for, you know, like the cardboard case and stuff. Okay, so I need to align this power supply this way. I want its thermal output going up. Got my SSD. Unfortunately, I can't just have horrible cable management and have that heat up my computer naturally because as we saw in this video, um, that's apparently not enough. Okay, so that's actually kind of the system built right there, but there's still a lot more work to do. Okay, so the graphics cards are too tall, which is not good. Now I wanted to use nanos, and Linus was like, well, the 90 Ti's will have more thermal output, and he's right. What do I do? More cardboard? Okay, so I'm gonna try to chop this stuff up, because this is actually pretty strong cardboard. It came from super expensive glass stuff that Brandon ensures me will make things look very pretty. There we go, that worked better. Stupid crappy scissors. So hopefully with this, I can just build an extension which will be tall enough that my graphics cards don't hit the ground. I just cut a hole in your tablecloth. I'm sorry, Brandon. So this is the beginnings of my test bench extension. These four little boards will hopefully enable me to make a box to make this thing a little bit taller. Are they strong enough? I don't know. Whatever, man. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, it's maybe not the most stable thing ever. So I'm just trying to make sure that this uh, duct tape is closing off any gaps that there could be, potentially. Someone that like actually makes things out of cardboard is gonna see this and just cry. All right, here we go. That actually might've worked. Or also not. That's also a possibility. Or it did. Yeah. Yeah. Just barely, but it did the bench was kind of teetering on the box. So I cut up some more cardboard, folded it up, and then duct taped it into the side there so that it has more of something to rest on. I also did that over here in the exact same way so that each side has more to rest on. And then the back, I'm gonna spin it around here for you, I anchored down 
with some duct tape so that it should hold where it is. So this, so far, is the system. I'm going to put this over the uh, video outs because I have two graphics cards, so I probably won't need those. I'm just cleaning up this cardboard. It's like when you uh, say back in the old days when we were all hunters and gatherers and you had to like uh, clean your catch. That's basically what's going on. I feel pretty, pretty Game of Thronesy. So this is some grade A cardboard right here. We only use triple A prime cut cardboard here at Linus Media Group. See how nice that cut comes out? That's how you know it's good cardboard, boys. <laughs> that way, I can remember when I'm looking at the outside of the box, that's how everything's lined up there. Then when I do this side, I can draw it differently. When I do this side, I can draw it differently again. It's basically like having window panels around the entire thing, but I would probably say better. Okay, so our, our front is on. Now I'm going to install the back, which has been labeled with a please handle with care fragile thank you sign. So that's pretty good. So that's one side completed. And moving on. It's important to try to cover up any possible air leaks we can because we want because we want all of the hot air going up. Our computer box has been completed as you can see. What we need to move on to now is I need to cut the holes through this so that the pizza can actually get some warmth. So Dremel time. If you can't tell, I'm kind of rushing all of a sudden. It is currently the 19th, which is a Friday, and the WAN show was supposed to start like a while ago, right there, and is being held up by a few things, one of them being this build. This build is extremely important, as you guys know. This is probably one of the most important things that I've done in a while. Um, so it needs to get done. This is gonna be where I'm gonna run all of my cables. Okay. So now I've just gotta reach down in there, turn it on. That didn't turn it on. Is that power cable not plugged in or something? Yes, okay. Now I turn it on. Okay, that took a really long time, but we are booted, which is good. So I just need to get this going, get a benchmark running on it. Then we'll get our heated pizza up on here and a control going and then let them sit for a while and see what happens. Okay, so now, well, I guess we need pizza to heat with the computer. So let's order some pizza. What can I get for you today? Uh, just a large Simply Cheese. And which type of crust did you want? Uh, probably original hand tossed. I think that'll be best for thermals. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you in approximately 35 minutes. Okay, great. One thing, but do you know the thermal properties of your crust by any chance? Probably. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not sure to say. Okay, no worries. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so pizza's on the way. He was not very helpful in terms of how well this is going to work, but like, whatever. I guess you can't get good customer service everywhere. Let's do this. All right, so we have our hopefully thermally good pizza with original hand tossed crust, which should go nicely against the metal sheet. And it's just cheese, so there isn't any weird toppings on the top that we might have to heat up. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got these two cooking thermometers. I'm gonna put one in each pizza, one slice of pizza. I tried to get ones that were pretty similar. I think these guys are pretty similar. I'm gonna take this one and put it up on top of the computer. 
and leave that sit. And then this one is just going to sit on the edge of the table over here, far enough away that it shouldn't be affected. So this slice is running at about 16.4 degrees Celsius. They're both about 16.4 degrees. And then we'll see if we can get the temperature to increase by running some benchmarks here. OK, so IDA64 is running on the CPU. I think I just heard the CPU fan kick up a little bit. That's good. Yeah, I can feel more air coming out of there. Now I'm going to run Heaven full screen. There we go. So we will check back in a little while, probably after the WAN show, and see how hot these pizza slices are. This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Next, you should try some eggs. <laughs> OK, so I don't think it's hot enough eggs. for that yet. But yeah, so just as an update, guys, that pizza down there, the control pizza, is currently at 16 degrees Celsius. And this one up here is at a solid 26. So basically, the concept will work. It's already gone up 0.2 degrees while I've been standing here talking, and it's going to keep on rising. So basically, it's going to work. Now I need to just make it not look like literally one of the ugliest computers of all time. And hopefully that'll be better. Now it's at 26.4, so it's still definitely climbing. DollarShaveClub.com. They deliver shavers right to your door for about a third of the price of that kind of, you know, greedy razor company that is their competition. Both my wallet and my face finally get some relief from the, the old rusty crappy razor that I used to use in college, but you know, oh well. DollarShaveClub.com means you can afford to shave with a fresh blade at any point in time, which feels fantastic. And for the smoothest shave ever, you get your Dollar Shave Club blade with their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter which isn't your average shave cream. It has high quality ingredients that make your skin feel soft, smooth, and moisturized. And if you want that luscious skin feel, you can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to sign up if you're in the US, Canada, or Australia. Wow, every time I have to do Dollar Shave Club integration, I'm super unshaven. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys liked seeing the prototypeness of this build. There will be a cleaner one later, like I just mentioned. If you want to see that, get subscribed. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And uh, that's maybe understandable. Anyways, you can buy a t-shirt like this one at the store in the link in the video description down below. You can use our Amazon affiliate code to buy stuff on Amazon. That's awesome. Or you can become a contributor on the forum, which is also great. If you want to see another crazy build of mine, click up here to see part one of the Fallout 4 bomb build. Also, I just want to say it's already at 26.8 degrees Celsius. So this pizza is, yeah, it's getting warm.